we were just kind of talking about this earlier in the show. Do you use this weekend to decompress from football at all? Or did you watch like every conceivable game you could this weekend? Well, I, I decompressed about not stressing over our team. I must say that. Uh, although we are stressed over our team, we've got a lot of work to do. Uh, but it was nice to watch these college, uh, great college players playing these championship games and then uh, followed up by uh, the NFL, uh, you know, the NFL games. Watching the, the East play was uh, was interesting. Obviously, we got our work cut out for us. They're, uh, they're starting to come around, especially the Redskins and uh, the Eagles. So uh, you, you watch that, and that starts to get your competitive juices flowing. But uh, obviously, Obviously, we always enjoy uh, watching the NFL and what other teams are uh, doing around this league. So uh, now we're we're back at it. You know, we got a lot of work to do. It was a you know a big big win for us, but uh, it also shows all the work we have to do in terms of uh, you know really coming together as an offense. We're getting a lot of you know great players back off the uh, designated to return list, but. Uh, with that comes, uh, you know, getting the continuity back, you know, whether it's the offensive line, the receiving group in particular, uh, the defensive line group, uh, you know, all that, uh, you know, as we get these guys back off COVID list and things like that, uh, you know, we, we've got to uh, really uh, get our continuity down and, you know, get ready for the stretch run here. But it is nice to be getting guys like D-Law back, obviously Amari Cooper and CD. And then this week we should get bar- back, barring a surprise, uh, certainly Randy and uh, Gregory and Gallimore. So, you know, we're getting our guys back. We just got to uh, continue to work at this, and hopefully these guys will uh, start to play well and and play fast together. So, Stephen, before we get into more Dallas Cowboys talk, you said you watch college football. And I just want to know your opinion here because I know you watch a lot of SEC football with your son being at Arkansas and you being a former uh, Arkansas player. Were you surprised that Georgia's defense that had dominated every team every year looked the way they did on Saturday? I mean, I must say I was very surprised. I would have, uh, if I was a gambling man, I would have lost money. But uh, uh, certainly hats off to, you know, what he always does, Nick Saban getting his team prepared. Obviously, a young quarterback down there at Alabama is really opening some eyes. Will and McClay and I were talking about him, what a, talent he is and how he's just got growing week to week uh but uh yeah that was a must say that was a big surprise the way alabama uh, was able to move the ball on them certainly uh you know george i think they won the time of possession 35 25 but uh you know it, whether it's college or pro if you lose that turn or turnover battle which georgia did uh then you're going to have an uphill battle to win a football game but something tells me we may see that matchup again Oh, was that just a prediction there for those two semifinals? I feel like I heard. <laughs> well, I just, uh, you know, those are two great football teams and uh, certainly wouldn't surprise me. Uh, Steven, what's the uh, what's the plan for McCarthy as, as we speak right now? Uh, for, for Are we waiting on testing? Do we have some other thoughts on what you're looking forward to this week with him? You know, we just think it's normally just like it is with players. We're looking at the 10 days and probably looking at getting him back on a Thursday. So uh don't think it'll usually be before. It rarely is. And certainly he's doing all his work and getting the team prepared. And, no, he'd love to be there hands-on. But at the same time, he does a great job, you know, zooming in and getting the staff prepared. Getting Certainly we'll be in front of our players again this week as we move forward. And uh he'll do a good job. And be ready to get back in the building. I know he, I've talked to him uh, pretty much every day, and uh, he's just dying to get back in and get his hands on on the team. And he's feeling, and he's feeling good. That's that's what most important there, right? Too. Absolutely. No, I, that goes without saying. He's feeling really good and getting through it in a good way. Obviously, uh, you know, he's done all the right things with uh, vaccinations and things like that, and. You know, the medicine's great, and uh, he's been able to work right through it, and uh, he feels great. And just uh, she told me I felt tenfold worse before on game day and coached, and uh, frustrating not for him not to be able to be there. 
I, I just saw a, a report from NFL Network that George Edwards has emerged as a candidate for the Duke job. And I know Kevin, uh, oh. my co-host here, uh, almost went to Duke, and he loves Duke basketball. Mm. Uh, he and that's where that's where uh, Edwards graduated from. That's his alma mater. Whenever you hear these things, do you address them with the coaches? Do you talk about it with them, or do you just kind of say, "Well, we'll just let it sit and we'll see and we'll observe." No, we do. We address it. Uh, Jerry and I are very aware of that. George, of course, handled it all very well and very good with, of course, Mike and Jerry and myself and certainly deserves the consideration. And being a Duke graduate there, it makes a lot of sense uh, for him to be a candidate there. And we always, as we've sat around here, always root for our uh, guys to have great opportunities. And hopefully the Cowboys are a platform for, uh, you know, uh, our coaches to – uh, advance and, and have great opportunities like uh, George may get here. Now, you said barring a surprise, you anticipate Neville Gallimore and Randy Gregory coming back. Can you tell us just a little bit more about that and when will that kind of be penciled in? Are you guys already penciling that in? Well, they've had a great uh, couple of weeks and, uh, you know, they've got to go out there and they'll take another step this week. With you know full practices and you know unless there's a setback which we uh, certainly don't expect you now we're preparing them uh, you know we're preparing them to play in the game but they've got to certainly continue to progress and uh, which they have every step of the way uh, but they've got to you know finish the full body of work which is uh, you know the full preparation for the game uh, against the Washington football team. So, Stephen, we're coming down to that stretch drive here, a lot of divisional games, and hopefully setting yourself up for a good position in the playoffs. What would you say, uh, it doesn't have to be a particular player, but maybe a position or something that you would say is the thing that you want to improve the most in these last few games heading into the playoffs? Well, I'd say the two things that I think, uh, you know, could really help this team is, you know, have our offensive line, uh, really get in a rhythm and, uh, you know, some continuity playing well. And I think with that will come improvement in our running game, which, of course, we've, uh, you know, I think the stats speak, speak for themselves. We hadn't exactly uh, run the ball as well as we did the first half of the year. And then uh, I think part of that in the big picture, full body of work, is these receivers are uh, going to uh, be having to do the same thing. I mean, they've got to, you know, get on time with uh, Dak as, uh, you know, he hadn't had the, the three of them there together in quite some time. So it's great to have them out there. But you know, I just think offensively this group's got to uh, continue to, uh, you know, work together, get the cohesiveness, and uh, really uh, get in a rhythm and be the offense that we were the first half of the season. And uh, and I think that uh, will be done. I mean, I know Dak's driven. I know our coaches are driven. Certainly uh, uh, feel good about that. And then, you know, uh, the thing that's uh, going to be interesting, too, is, you know, having now that we've seen what Micah can do, but having Randy Gregory and Demarcus Lawrence and Neville Gallimore back in the picture with the guys we already have, uh, I think is exciting to think about. But, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see. We're going to get to see that firsthand, hopefully starting with the Washington football team. Talking with Stephen Jones right here on 105 Through the Fan. I believe this went down two weeks ago. It's become quite the fascination around our uh, radio station. One of our hosts asked you a question that was longer than a minute. Uh, I, I don't know if you recall this question, but it, it, is there a point in a question when you're like, I got what your question is. Just cut it off and let's get to it. Well, I have attentional deficit issues, uh, ADD as we call it. And so I probably only remember about the last 15 seconds of it. So I don't know if I if I got it right or not. But uh, uh, at some point, you kind of feel where where you're going with those questions. But hopefully, I'm patient with it. Okay, <laughs> I I think I think that you were, and I think that's why the fascination has grown throughout this station mm -hmm. is that you didn't cut him off, and you're like, I get it. What's up with Dak, or like whatever the question was. Like, so thank you for being kind to Chiafalo. <laughs> <laughs> well i enjoy i enjoy you guys awesome well we love no. having you on as well and obviously best of luck this weekend as we dive back into the division and then we will catch up with you again next week good sir 
Hey, I appreciate you guys. Have a good week.